What's good, fellas? Today I want to talk about this loop I have in my infinite loop kit. This is in the style of like Party or Uzi or someone like that. A little bit of hyper pop ish. Uh, so a lot of synths going on. But before I even get into that, I want to ask you guys what do you guys think of a whole lot of red? A whole lot of mids, a whole lot of fire, a whole lot of trash. You know, let me know in the comments below. But anyway. <laughs> All right, so let's get into these individual instruments. So the first thing I have is an analog lab preset. It's called Muppet Mayhem, and I've tweaked some of these. I've done that with every one of these analog labs here. So we go into the MIDI and it's just this thing, play it. So yeah, it's actually super, super simple. I mean, I have some some large chords here, but then a little, just a tiny bit of top line to accent it. A lot of these beats use really strange synths. So yeah, getting into the effects of that, we have Shaper Bach, which essentially just sort of automates the volume and it just adds to a little bit of the like dynamic effect it has. You can do something similar in Grow Speed too, so you can try that as well. Uh, then a little portal. And if you don't know what portal is, it's kind of like granular VEX plugin. I think that's what it's called. Basically in simple terms, it just kind of shoves the melody up its own ass and creates something interesting. So I have this preset and on the highest mix it pretty much completely makes the melody crazy yeah so you don't really want that so turn it down all the way to 50 and it just it just a little accent in the melody and then the final thing is a little bit of eqing here just to get rid of some harsh frequencies the highs got too much and you do want a lot of high end in these beats but even then you got to take care of your ears you know so yeah moving on to the second melody here it's just a little counter melody i have so let me play that for you All right, so uh, essentially just like a lower counter melody just to kind of bounce off the main melody and something crazy going on in the effect. I just have a little bit of delay. Uh, let me show you the preset I used here. It is Oreo's Mystic Spirit. So next melody, something I use sparsely in the beat, which I'll show you. So. So yeah, this really bounces off the, the main melody, essentially. That's kind of the purpose. So it's a little more, it's a little drier. It doesn't have as many effects. I mean, out here you can see it has no effects and it just kind of counterbalances against the, the initial analog lab preset. And the preset I use for this one is uh, this one, two part split right here. It's a little lead in analog lab. So final thing I did was add a little arcade accent and this is nothing crazy. It just plays really sparsely. It's a little synth stub from the 80s bank and arcade, so you can check that out. And uh, have a little bit of delay on it, sound out a little more, but that's it. And a tiny bit of EQ just to cut out some high end. Essentially, that's the loop. I have actually have it on a on a higher uh, pitch, so this is what it actually sounds like. So that's what it sounds like initially, but then I added this little plugin from Waves. And if you've seen some videos online like Prod by Jack or something, you will know about this little plugin here. And I think it's really good. It essentially transposes the notes. And sometimes it's it's really easy to just come in here, transpose. But you know, when you have a plugin like Arcade, you're gonna have to go in, okay, you'll save 10 seconds. But if you're using like guitar plugin, for example, it'll completely switch up the way the sound works. So I, I think it's a really good way to change how your melody sounds. And I think it's cheap and there's a sale right now. So get some Waves plugins, man. Waves plugins are, are the wave. So let's get into the beat. All right, so here's the beat I made using the stems for the loop here, as you can see. Let's just get right into these drums. So we got a super, super simple hi-hat pattern.
basically a two-step with a few step rolls, one little half roll right here. Velocity turned down a bit, but super, super simple. You really don't need to complicate it too much for this beat. You already got a lot going on melodically. You have some booming melodies, so you might as well just keep it a low key on that. Clap, you know, everyone knows about the clap. Just place it there. I have this little box. You know, Pierre uses a lot of box in his beats, so decided to add a little box on the one here. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just salute to Nick Mira, because these are all Mira drums, so salute to him. It's like a real OG in terms of drum kits for me. Uh, yeah, anyway, open hat plays right before every clap, so again, super simple. Then we have this 808, which is one of the fattest 808s you can get. The all girls are the same 808. A lot of you might know it, but here's what the 808 pattern sounds like. Yeah, so essentially, just to make it harder, I have a wave shaper. I, use, I love using wave shapers, one of the easiest ways to make great wave slap. And now a little bit of EQing to take down some of the lows because it was just too much at one point and it was kind of clipping in a pretty bad way. So we have a little snare for bounce right here. Just that, super simple. And one final perk here for a little bit of ambience. And that has like a ton of delay on it and a little bit of uh, EQ to take out a little bit of the high end. But I mean, that's pretty much it for this. It's, it's a super simple beat, you know. I guess the one thing I did structurally here for all these little bridges, I added this little love filter and I'll show you guys the preset. Simple triangle low pass LFO preset and I have it on the default settings. And I have it kind of sliding downwards gradually as, as the bridge leads into the hook, so. Here's what that sounds like. And just for the intro, I have the volume fading in too. Uh, I have a few little effects and essentially the whole point of this beat is to kind of sound like you're being lifted into space. Like you're, you're floating, you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the beat. I have this little variation in the open hat here where it just plays a little more simply every second clap instead of every clap. Yeah, I'm gonna let the beat play out. Peace.